Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the CrowdStrike patch error that's causing blue screen updates on Windows hosts. Now, if you're using Microsoft Azure or AWS, there are different instructions on their website. I'll put all these URLs in the YouTube description box below so you can get it from there. But in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about individual Windows computers or individual Windows hosts. Now, as per the website, this issue is caused by a channel file by the name of this. Um, so if you have this file with the timestamp of 0527 UTC or later, it means you've got the good version of the file, so you may not need to do anything. You can just restart your computer a couple of times, maybe more than a couple of times. Some people have had to do it about 10, 15 times for it to get to work. But if you have the file with the temps timestamp of 0409 UTC, that's the problematic version according to the vendor. So um, what we need to do is we need to restart the computer in safe mode and go into this location uh, where you will see the system files of CrowdStrike. Locate this file. So make sure that you locate the exact file that's stated in this link and basically delete it and restart the computer. Um, everything should come back to normal afterwards. So what I've got here is a virtual machine that we're going to do this thing. Um, so hopefully you can get to the login screen of your Windows computer. Um, once you add the login screen, there are a couple of ways that you can boot a computer in safe mode. I'll put the official Microsoft link in the description box below. Um, but I'm going to show you how to restart the computer in safe mode when you add the login screen. So on your Windows computer, when you add the login screen, press and hold shift key and keep holding and click on the power icon to your right hand side corner and click restart. Now this should restart the computer in advanced mode. So we're just going to wait for a couple of seconds here. Okay, so when you're at this stage, click troubleshoot, advanced options, and startup settings. So this is going to give you the options that are going to be available next time you restart. So click restart. And we need to turn on the computer in safe mode with networking on. Um, CrowdStrike has mentioned that if you've got a wired internet connection, it's best. Um, so if you've got a computer that's connected to the network via a networking cable, uh, that's better. Um, otherwise, Wi-Fi also in theory should work. Um, so I'm going to select option five, enable safe mode with networking. So I'm going to press number five on the keyboard. And now the computer is going to start in safe mode. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Okay, so it seems like we're logging in. I'm going to enter my PIN code. You may need to enter your password or PIN code depending on what you have set up. Okay, so when you log in, you're going to know that you've logged in in safe mode by looking at the top right hand side corner. It's going to say safe mode and to the left also, it's going to say safe mode. Um, obviously, you need to um, see this as well to make sure that you're indeed connected using uh, safe mode with networking. Otherwise, if you select just safe mode, it's going to connect, it's going to restart but have no connectivity uh, to the internet or to the local network. So make sure that you select safe mode with networking. Once you are logged back in, uh, click on the file explorer, click on this PC, go to C, Windows, 
Let me just expand this. And we're going to look for a folder called System32. So we'll scroll down, System32. And now we're going to look for a folder called Drivers. And you're going to see a folder called CrowdStrike. Now, I am not a paid customer of CrowdStrike, so I can't install the agent without being a paid customer. So I've just created a dummy folder in here called CrowdStrike to emulate the actual environment. You're going to see a CrowdStrike folder under Drivers folder. So double click on the CrowdStrike folder and you're going to see a file by the name of c-50s291.sys. So the extension or the format of the file is going to be system. So just select that file, simply right click on it and delete the file um, and you're good to go. Go ahead and restart the computer. Fingers crossed, everything should get back to normal from this point, according to CrowdStrike documentation. So I hope this video helped you guys a little bit. Um, if it did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the like button. If you've got any questions, um, put in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.